Manchester United is a club with impeccable history, but its legacy since Sir Alex has left hasn't been good, with no Premier League titles in 2013. But this season, under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, Manchester United fans really thought that we are going to win this season with Jim Sancho, but that too did not end up materializing. So here we are, taking a look whether it can actually happen without Jim Sancho. So here are the rules of engagement. Only emergency signings are allowed. No unrealistic transfers, preset tactics only, and I'm not allowed to sell anyone under any conditions. So here is the squad Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is going to be using this season. With quite a lot of quality, but on paper this team just does not look like something that can win a Premier League title. Here is the formation. The 4 3 1 here are the tactics Ole Gunnar Solskjaer uses the actual and what FIFA can make out of it, the roles and the instructions. The first big game of the season was when Tottenham Hotspur visited Old Trafford in a game which in real life Man United fans want to forget after the 6-1 thrashing but on this we will ended in a 1-1 draw. Next we visited Stamford Bridge to see what we can do of Frank Lamp Chelsea which also ended in a 2-1 draw. The month of September saw the UEFA Champions League kickoff with RB Leipzig coming all the way over to Old Trafford for the first game of the group stage which ended in a one all draw. Next was the one of the biggest games of the Premier League season when Manchester United went all the way over to Anfield to visit our fellows Liverpool which ended in another game Manchester United fans would love to forget. Next, the all iconic Paris Saint Germain versus Manchester United game when we visited Park de Pro which this time did not end up in the Marcus Rashford goal. Things in, in the month of October took a turn for the worse when we visited the Emirates Stadium to take on Mikel Arteta's Arsenal which really did not end well in a 2-1 loss. Next was the April Cup start with the Manchester Derby at the Etihad which ended up with another penalty loss. In the month of November, the first game we played was on the 4th in a UEFA Champions League group stage tie against Packer Shield where we secured a first win of the 2021 UEFA Champions League with a 3 0 win. Next, the all-iconic Manchester Derby at Old Trafford which ended in yet another victory for Pep Guardiola's men. Last game of the month was RB Leipzig took place in Germany where we were nearly rounding off the last game of the UEFA Champions League group stage which ended in another 2 all draw. With only one point needed to secure our qualification to the UEFA Champions League round of 16, we hosted Paris Saint Germain at the Old Trafford Stadium, which ended in a one all draw, giving us the required points to go through. Next were Marcelo Bielsa's Leeds United, which ended in a big 2 0 win. We start the year of 2021 by kicking off the Emirates FA Cup competition which saw Liverpool come all the way over to Old Trafford and beat us 2-1. Next were uh, Sean Dyche's Burnley at Turf Moor which ended in a one all draw. Next, the replay of the first game of the, of the 2021 year which saw Liverpool come to Old Trafford this time. Yet again, the scoreline was same, we lost 2-1. From one Merseyside team to the other, next we visited Everton at Goodison Park which ended in a one all draw. Next, the UEFA Champions League round of 16 was kicked off in the game against Borussia Mönchengladbach Park at Old Trafford which ended in a 2-1 win. Next, Fulham visited Old Trafford, this time we won 3-0.
The month of March saw an exponentially high amount of big games, with the first being Frank Lampard's Chelsea making the trip over to Old Trafford, which ended in yet another one all draw. Next, we ended the round of 16 UEFA Champions League campaign when we visited Borussia Mönchengladbach in, well, Mönchengladbach, which ended in a 2 1 win. Next, we went all the way over to Tottenham Hotspur Stadium in London to face against Jose Mourinho's Tottenham Hotspur, which ended in another one all round. Last game of the month was a Manchester derby, this time all the way over at the Etihad, which we lost nil one. The month of April also had a huge amount of action, with the first being the quarterfinals of the UEFA Champions League when we visited Atlanta in Italy and won 2-0. Next were Mikel Arteta's Arsenal coming to Old Trafford, which we lost last time but won this time 2-0. Next, to finish off the quarterfinals, Atlanta made a trip to Old Trafford again and ended in a 2 all draw we won on aggregate. Next, the semi-finals of the UEFA Champions League with yet another Manchester derby, this time but we didn't lose, it was a one all draw. The month of May began with the second leg of the UEFA Champions League semi finals in the second round of the Manchester Derby, and we lost 2 1, getting knocked out in a very relatively successful run in the UEFA Champions League. Next up was West Brom at Old Trafford, a game which we won 2 0. The last game of the season. To secure European qualifications, we went against Wolverhampton of Honduras at home, which we did end up winning 3 0. But now it's time for the end of season round off where we see what we did. We ended 6 in the league, we got knocked out in the semi finals of the UEFA Champions League. Our top goal scorer was Anthony Martial, and our player of the season was also Tony Martial. Yes, 50 mil really did not go down the drain. Next, let's see where we ended up in all competitions. We finished 6 in the Premier League, no European football, 4th round of elimination in the Carabao, 3rd round of elimination in the FA Cup, and we got knocked out in the semi finals of the UEFA Champions League. FIFA 21 predicts a very, very rough season incoming for Oliver Solskjaer's Manchester United.